Hi everyone, it's Angela and I'm here with a Draw My Life video, though I'm probably last person on earth to make one. Um, I don't have a whiteboard or anything, so I'm going to do a drawing program. I was born on March 17, 1998 in a city called Berkeley, California. I don't really remember much that happened in my childhood, but my parents told me when I was very little, my um, aunt took care of me in um, China for um, about a year or so because my mom found it really hard to keep up a job while being a mom and trying to learn English for an English exam when she immigrated to the, in the United States. And my, f I think my first memory was my grandparents visited the U.S. Um, when I was three, and I was trying to get onto the bathroom sink, so my grandma lifted me up the counter. Um, but there was a wet spot, so I tragically slipped. But nothing major happened to me, so that was good. And my best friend was um, first best friend was a girl named Ariel. I met her because our moms were friends too. We live in the cities that were about 40 minutes apart from each other, so we didn't really meet up and play regularly. But we would always. Um, play Maple Story and that was really fun and we would always um, jump on a trampoline and um, in the summer and that was really nice because the night was really cool and um, we're in high school now so we don't really have time to meet up but we're still friends and when I got into preschool and I'm elementary school I really really love learning and drawing and um, my art would always get featured and hung up on the walls and people were like, whoa, you're so good at art. And I'm like, yeah, bitches, hell yeah. Um, and unfortunately, second grade, my best friend Liana moved away. She pretty much disappeared out of my life and I kind of spent a long time um, being sad because I lost my only good friend and um, I didn't really have anyone to turn to and I kind of friend hopped. And from kindergarten up until second grade, I had a lot of family issues. My f parents would always fight, and sometimes it got really violent. And um, I was kind of tough on my brother and I, and they would even consider getting a divorce. And um, it was really tough for my brother and I to choose. And um, I remember I would always uh, try to sleep in my brother's bed because um, we were both scared from all the yelling and it was a confusing time in my life but thankfully my parents reconciled and didn't up, end up getting a divorce in third grade I met my best friend Allison who was new and um, she she moved from uh, um, somewhere in Sacramento to where we live now and we ended up becoming instant friends and I finally had someone that I can trust and not be afraid of them walking out on me so that was really really nice and um, Fourth grade was, uh, and I remember uh, we both had terribly bad yearbook photos from third grade because we both had humongous gaps in our teeth, and every time I look at those pictures, I can't help but laugh because they're probably the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. And um, in fourth grade, that was um, also the year I got my golden retriever, and we didn't, couldn't think of a name for him, so my brother and I were just like, why don't we just name him the most generic thing ever? So we named him Max... And um, summer before sixth grade started, I went to visit my relatives in China. It was actually quite boring since um, many of the sites like YouTube were closed down or because of communism, Blah, damn communism. So one day I decided to draw an MS Paint and I sent one of these pictures to my friend Ariel. And she's like, whoa, you're really good at digital art. You should join this site. So um, I became a serious digital artist. And um, I soon entered middle school and 6th grade was so much fun and really easy and I met um, a few of my best friends Celia and Bello and um, I really enjoyed that year. It was a lot of fun and it was, yeah, it was really easy too. 7th um, and 8th grade were undeniably the hardest, most emotionally depressing moments in my life. So I did meet some incredible friends like Yingtai, Emma, and Irene. I couldn't help but feel prolonged sadness due to some personal problems I didn't really feel like I don't really feel like going into. And um, that was kind of tough to go through. And as many people say, seventh grade is probably the hardest years of your life because you're growing up and changing and um, you're expected to be independent while still like not having any freedom. And um, eighth grade was a little bit better, um, but not by a lot. I was still feeling extremely sad a, a lot of the time, and I didn't really, I didn't really know what I was going to do with my life since there were so many Spartan pretty people, 
I didn't really have anything special about me, and um, I kind of felt pretty, uh, pretty valueless and hopeless because everyone was good at something and I wasn't. And beware, some really corny and cheesy stuff to come. Um, eighth grade was also the year I had my first, my first really, really strong crush. I don't know if it should call, be called love or not. Anyways, um, probably not. But anyways, we both really liked each other. And I was in class daydreaming about this certain person, but neither one of us really had the confidence to make the first move. Um, plus, I had, um, I had really, really bad self-esteem issues during middle school so I would always ignore them because ignore him because I never really felt good enough and um, around May or so um, a friend and I decided that we were going to go to the movie theater to see what was supposedly the best movie of the year or best action movie of the year and you can probably guess that it was the Avengers and um, I had been a Marvel fan before but I didn't become crazy obsessed with it until I saw, I saw the Avengers and um, really loved the cast and I gave up my photography blog on Tumblr um, well, yeah, and because I, and I, yeah, anyways, um, and I uh, created a fandom blog solely dedicated to the Avengers and the cast members that I was really um, crazy in love with, and that's where I decided um, that's who I am. And I was introduced to a bunch of new fandoms um, that was really great, and it pretty much shaped my past annoying personality into self deprecating, sarcastic, sassy, meme hating, social justice warrior that I pretty much am today, and um, it's kind of a joke, kind of not, um, <laughs> and for the past, last few weeks of summer before the start of my freshman year in high school, my best friend Bello had to move to New York, um, that was, um, since we lived in California, that was like all the way across the country, and like almost 3,000 miles away, and um, that was really tough. And um, I remember that day we all sat and walked around in our empty house and shared some Arizona iced teas before the inevitable moment. And we walked to the park that we also always went to when we were in sixth grade and played Hot Lava Monster, a very fond memory from our middle school days. Um, I mean, that was pretty much our last moment together. Um, I remember when our car picked to uh, pulled over to pick Bello up, we all started crying and hugging each other. And that was the last time we saw her, and the rest of us were walking home. Um, we were all crying so hard, and it took a really long time to get over and accept the fact that my best friend was all the way across the country, and it, it was um, it was really tough to come uh, over this realization. And from the stress, in thinking about high school, the only thing I was excited about was marching band. And marching band changed and impacted my life so much, and I gained so many new experiences and friendships through it, and um, I haven't regretted any part since. And band camp was actually one of the most fun times in my life. I actually met my best friend Carolyn through band camp because we were getting fitted when we were getting fitted for uniforms. I heard her ask when is Sherlock, season three of Sherlock start filming, and I pretty much butted into a conversation. It was like January 2013. And at 8 o'clock one day, Allison and I were talking to her um, during, uh, what's it called, during when we were waiting for stuff to happen and sharing our fandoms. And Carolyn said, yeah, you probably never heard of this, but are you guys homesick fans? And we were like, homesick, oh yeah. We all hugged and um, our band director pretty much indirectly had to tell us to calm down um, because we were like screaming and like crying and that's a very accurate picture of my band director. And um, competitions were always my favorite part of marching band because um, I love like getting dressed and putting on full uniform and getting on the buses and uh, driving to our show because there was like so much anticipation and excitement and I thought they were really fun. Um, and our show was based on the Bride of Frankenstein. Um, I'll probably link you to a video um, of our performance and I think the music was great and it was super fun and um, I remember our last competition at championships we were walking off from the field from our last performance 
of the season, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I pretty much, when we were walking off, I pretty much broke into tears and started crying, crying, cause, um, I, and I kind of realized that 280 plus people were doing the same thing too, and I ended up meeting a bunch of random people, so that was a really good memory. Um, in December, we went to Arizona, Tempe, Arizona, to compete in the Fiesta Bowl National Championships. And it was a two-day drive, but um, it was kind of long, but kind of fun. We ended up getting second place in both the field show and the parade. And oh my god, the parade. That was probably the most painful thing I've experienced in the world because we practically spent an hour and a half or so marching and playing, which is actually sounds a lot more um, work than it is. I played the flute, so by the end of the hour, I had no arms left but it was still really fun. And so yeah, nothing eventful has happened in the past few months. I can honestly say I've been consistently happy for the first time in a really long time. And um, though I do still face many hardships and um, difficulties, um, this year has been so great and filled with so many experiences. And yeah, so thank you for watching this very long video about my life. Um, and um, I hope to make more videos and bye.